one of the aspects of this war on the West that that people have been noticing, but nobody's been asking questions about where it comes from, is the sudden upsurge in people, primarily students, arguing against capitalism and for Marxism and Marxist philosophy. And the thing about that is that capitalism serves as a wonderful proxy for Western values. And I'm referring now to capitalism, the economic system. I'm not talking about the ideology of capitalism, which is, uh, it's, it's a misnomer because it's actually hyper-industrialism and, and hyper-consumerism conflated. That's a different discussion. But the thing about using the word capitalism for these things, and I wonder if that's not intentional, to, to, to cause that confusion is that capitalism as a proxy for Western values doesn't care about other economic systems. It doesn't care. If you want to run a socialist commune and you can be successful within a capitalist environment, it doesn't bother anybody. If you can take care of yourself, go right ahead. Whereas any kind of communist society must have central control and to do that firstly there cannot be freedom in the way that we talk about freedom in the west and secondly they also have to control not just the money and the jobs and all of those things but they have to control the education and they have to control what people are exposed to and if people are exposed to Western values and people are exposed to capitalistic ideas, then that they cannot abide by that. That damages them. That harms them. And so they would have to fight back and derail capitalism as much as possible. The thing that I find interesting about this narrative that you know, capitalism doesn't, doesn't care for the needy, is that in all the studies that have been done in dealing with homelessness by giving the homeless houses with no strings attached, with universal basic income, by giving money to everyone with no strings attached, the outcomes have all been strong and positive. It's been cheaper for cities to give the homeless houses and give them an opportunity to get back on their feet than it has been to not do that. And that is capitalism, for lack of a better expression, expressing an opinion. It's encouraging welfare. It's encouraging universal basic income. These are not exclusive. To, to communist philosophies. What is exclusive is the freedom to do with that universal basic income and that welfare and that housing what you will. And I think that's very interesting. 